Hi, I want to take a few minutes to talk about the idea of moderation. This is an approach we can use to test some of our insights and to understand why an effect may be happening. Now, many phenomena we see in marketing often depend on the context or other variables. For example, the sensitivity of consumers to price changes is likely to be higher, that is, they're more sensitive to prices when they have a lower income. The idea being that those with lower incomes have less budget to spend, and so they need to be more careful with their decisions, making price a more important variable. So in such cases, we would say that income moderates the effect of price sensitivity. Or we can say income level interacts with price sensitivity. And why this approach is important to marketers is it's very useful to help tease apart explanations. Take, for example, the phenomena that ice cream sales tend to increase in the summer. Now, we can think of lots of reasons this might happen. Two that I can think of are one might be what's well, hotter in the summer, and when people get heated, then cold ice cream is very pleasant, and so people want to eat more ice cream. An alternative account is that, well, the summer is when children aren't in school as much. And as such, we would expect that when kids are home, maybe kids are larger consumers of ice cream, they ask for ice cream more, and so more ice cream is being consumed. Now, each explains why this effect could happen. And <clears throat> what's nice is we can use uh, moderation to help tease apart, well, these two explanations do differ in terms of when they say the effect should be larger. That is, the effect should be more so for this than that. And this lets us test each story to see which one may be driving more of these increased ice cream sales. So for example, think about what each story would say about where the effect should happen. So if it's the hot weather explanation, then cities or geographic locations that tend to show a bigger difference in their summertime temperature versus say spring or winter, those cities should show this increased summer ice cream sales more because the temperature has changed more, so we'd expect there'd be more of an effect on their ice cream sales than other cities with less of a change. Think about what each explanation would say for who. If it's the children staying at home explanation, then families with kids should show a bigger difference in their purchases during the summer versus the rest of the year than those families without kids. So we could get that data and test to see if that was indeed true. As well, we think about when the effect should happen. So if it's the weather story, we would expect years that had hotter temperatures and particularly hotter summers should show the effect more than other years that didn't have such large differences in the summer temperatures. Think about the what. There's another way we can tease this apart. If it's the kids staying at home story, then we'd expect summer sales to increase for ice cream, especially for products more geared toward kids, say popsicles or push-ups. Then maybe products geared more toward adults tend to consume more. And so as you can see, these moderators tend to tell us when an effect is big or small and when should you expect to be more versus less. And it can inform our decisions by telling us why the effect is happening and how to address it. So for example, in the ice cream case, we can look through these different stories and tease out which of the explanations seems to be explaining this more. And maybe it's neither of them and there's a third explanation. But either way, moderators are a powerful tool to help us test our insights uh, and learn when uh, they work. And so one principle to remember for this is when can tell us why.